Welcome back to this week's Real Country File. So harvest, I wouldn't say it's drawing to a close, but the, the end is certainly in sight. Next year's harvest is already, uh, the seed for it is in bags, ready to go as soon as September arrives. Anyway, must thank the sponsor for this week's episode, which is called Hello Fresh. So they provide like boxes of things with ingredients in. So you don't have to think about what to make. You can just read through, see what you want, and everything in the box will do that. Anyway, Andrew has a go at that later on, so we'll see that later in the video. But um, they've also given us a discount code if you scan, uh, scan, if you scan, there you go, scan. If you scan that QR code, then you get 60% off your first box and 25% off your next eight boxes. So have a go at that anyway, have a look at their website. Um, Anyway, first, Andrew's getting a first lesson in milking by Olivia, which is Olivia that's been working for me this harvest. So let's see how Angela's got on. Oh, actually, yeah. And then after that, Stephen is doing something about what would you ask a prime minister if you had the opportunity? So yeah, over to Angela first. Now, I'm actually approaching this filming job with a little bit of trepidation because rather than filming somebody else doing some work like I would normally do, um, I'm actually going to a farm now um, to actually do help out with their milking session this afternoon and I've never actually uh, milked a cow before in my life having had a background in sheep farming so uh, not quite sure how I'm going to get on but I'm going to give it a go. Okay, we're in the parlour now actually on this dairy farm. We've got Olivia who's um, in charge of the, the milking session here today. Um, for those of you that think we might be sisters, we're, we're not. No, this is my daughter Olivia, but obviously some of you might have seen her on Ollie's videos as well. Uh, so as well as working for Ollie, then Olivia works here uh, at the weekends. So she's going to give me a little bit of a, a flavour of what her job involves and show me how to, to milk a cow. How, how many cows are we, uh, are we milking today then? So we've got 250 cows. Um, 250 cows that we're milking here today. So we're in a transition phase from all year round carving to block carving. So we'll do have a spring block and an autumn block. So the ones that are carving in spring next year have more parlour nuts because we want to emphasise them having a higher milk yield right now. Whereas ones that are due to carve in autumn, they have less parlour nuts but more grass um, to sort of help with their um, pregnancy. You press the down arrow there, which releases the unit. You've then got to flip it upside down so this black button is underneath the unit. So why is that black button important? So this is the vacuum seal, so when that's pushed up, that's when it starts sucking. So when it's, put, when it's out, there's no vacuum, so nothing's getting sucked in. So what you do is hold your middle finger and push the button in. It's probably best to start with the front left and then you can go one two three four round like that um, and push the button in they should just suck the teeth in okay so you do one first right. and then I'll, uh, I'll follow you Actually, so yeah, so, so front left. Oh my god, I'm starting with one that hasn't got straight teeth at all. Oh, right. oh found it. Okay. Right, yeah, and then Thanks, is that right? Off. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then what we do, what we usually do is give the um, give this piece of string a small pull, and then it takes the weight off um, off the udder. Because if there's quite a lot of strain on the udder, it could lead to mastitis. So instead of the strain being up there, it just means it's sort of holding it with the udder. Okay, right. Let me try another one then. Okay. So push the down button. Oh 
Oh God, I've got a kicker. I don't like this one. <laughs> yeah. Right, stand back everybody. We just need to pause a little bit. How, um, okay. have that pointing towards the cow. Oh, okay. Right. On that. Okay. So now and then after the teats have come off, we just spray underneath. Yeah, oh, that's fine. Is that okay. Yeah. And what is it that we're spraying here? Um, so this is iodine, sort of clean the cows off after they've been um, on the unit to keep them clean and prevent from the scientists. It's a bit ticklish, obviously, for them. Yeah, you don't need to do it loads, just like oh, okay. half a second. Okay. Right, washing down now. So we're just, we're just waiting for this last uh, last cow to uh, to finish in this particular row. So whilst we've got a little bit of thinking time, tell me what what's the best thing about this job then? What is it that you like about working here? Um, I like working with livestock, and it's nice to feel like I'm doing something helpful towards um, sort of feeding the country um, and I like seeing the livestock being treated um, with care and being treated the way they are really because they are they are well looked after here um, and I like coming in in the morning and seeing the cows um, and it's very fast paced as well so I like how it's very bang 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 um, units constantly on you are constantly moving it's not a slow job at all um, and because I'm on my own I've got the responsibility of sort of looking after the herd, spotting anything that might be wrong um, and if anything goes wrong with the parlour as well I've got to sort of work out what it could be um, and sort of keep, keep an eye on loads of things so I like having the responsibility of that as well. And, and what, what's the worst thing about working in uh, this kind of environment generally do you think? Um, probably coming home smelling. <laughs> <laughs> Smelling of cows. Yeah, yeah, the washing um, machine takes some battering, that's for sure. So, yeah. Right, I've just finished my shift with Olivia. I'm absolutely exhausted. I hadn't appreciated actually how, how physically tiring. Um, just putting the clusters actually are really heavy. So, to keep moving about all the time and putting them on, actually, it, it does take a lot of physical um, hard work. Um, I mean, we finished now in the daytime. Um, Olivia started at, I think it was about four o'clock or well, five o'clock this morning, I think, having done a, a long shift working for Ollie yesterday. So absolutely hats off to her and obviously all um, dairy farmers um, that do this day in, day out, several times a day. I absolutely hadn't appreciated the, the effort and, and what actually went into to getting that bottle of milk at the end of it. So um, it's about a cup of tea. Oh my God, I was going to say it's a cup of tea time. I, I'm, I'm covered in, in cow muck as well. So I'm just desperate to, uh, to get home and, and get myself washed up. But I will so much look forward to that cup of tea and really appreciate that the milk that's going to go in it. Thanks, Angela. Now, let's go and speak to Stephen. So he's chatting with Phil Hallhead about politics, genetics, anything to do with cows, really. So over to Stephen. This week on The Real Country File, I've caught up with a gentleman who I usually see in a ring or on social media, very active on social media, Philip uh, Hallhead. Phil, in terms of uh, title, what, what, what should I give you? Farmer. Far farmer. Farmer uh, do a bit of traveling with my genetics business, as you know, and we're also setting up a non-agricultural business. So just thinking about a bit of diversification and that, that obviously leads us nicely into, you know, talking about agriculture generally, the fact as a family, the whole head family over many generations, um, a little bit entrepreneurial, a little bit, and I think most farmers are actually, and it's uh, something talking to a, a chap the other day about the uh, benefits of employing families or children progeny of farmers who really know how to adapt to change uh, we're used to changes in weather changes in prices um, leadership stuff on farms all those key skills 
that you think we're just farming, we're just producing food, but actually there's a lot more to it. Well, this is a bit of a sneak preview because we're going to come and see you on the farm. We're going to find okay. out a little bit more about your genetics business, but I thought we'd just quickly catch up with you. So, how's the year been for you? Really interesting year, generally. I think put the broader picture on agriculture. Uh, we started the year, um, well, leading out of last year and obviously all the food inflation piece um, thinking about the cost of, of producing goods generally right across all, all sorts of industries not just ag um, <clears throat> one of the commodities we buy for our dairy cows um, over a hundred thousand pounds extra that it would have cost for me not buying that product on the right day so real volatility um, pressure all around uh, on farms as there always has been so there's nothing new there um, and but we're only too aware that that feeds right back to consumers and the real price of food is hurting uh, so we've got responsibility on three fronts one is to produce a lot more food than we've ever done before uh, secondly to produce it as cost effectively as we can in a really challenging environment and thirdly to think about the environment and all the other bits that go with it which we, we've always done but the pressure to um, not only produce more food but protect the environment think about air quality water quality and, and all the other bits around around our farmed landscape which you see beautifully from here um, is really important I'm going to give you one question that you could ask our Prime Minister this year you could ask him Mr Sunak for agriculture what what would and, and to be fair it, it, I haven't heard him mention a lot recently in, about agriculture. It's not been on the go. top of the agenda, has it really? On any of no. it, unless I'm missing out, and I do go looking for it as well. But what would be the one question you well, ask? Well, it's timely because only yesterday I was talking to an MP about exactly that, getting invited to go down to London to talk about agriculture and some of the topics that are top and foremost in our minds. Um, and I think it's just leadership. Let's let's have some leadership. Let's have some vision uh, that rolls right through lots of different uh, areas as well. It, I'm thinking about energy security, I'm thinking about food security particularly. Um, what is it that the government wants? What is it that they're going to um, challenge us to, to do? You know, can we, as farmers, we're there, we're ready to grasp the nettle, uh, produce more food. And actually, I think we have a moral objective and incentive really to produce food for other countries and other nations. So we need some good trade deals. So leadership, first and foremost, let's see Rishi out in the parishes, out in the villages, out in the, certainly in the frozen north, because we need, we need some leadership. And that would be my, that would be my key request. I, I like it. I like it. And um, fingers crossed you get a chance to speak to him. If you do, we'd love to catch up with that. We are going to come and see you on the farm in the next uh, few weeks, but thanks for five minutes of your time today, mate. Much Thank you very much. Thanks, Stephen. Now over to Angela. Let's see how she got on with her HelloFresh box. I've had a mega hectic day at work. Um, I knew that I had nothing in the freezer. I just didn't have the, the brain capacity to think, what am I gonna cook for everybody's tea tonight? So the fact that HelloFresh has sent us a box of food has been an absolute godsend. Um, I found this really easy to cook, um, absolutely um, good portion sizes, and the instructions were a doddle. So, um, Thank you very much, HelloFresh. I'm going to enjoy this now. I think this kind of um, meal delivery kit is going to be ideal for anybody with a busy schedule, um, hasn't got the, um, the time or um, inclination to actually think about what recipes to cook every day. Um, it's healthy, so what's not to like? So cheers. Thanks very much for HelloFresh. I'm going to enjoy this now. Thanks for that, Angela. Now, don't forget, you can get 60% off your first order of HelloFresh and 25% off your next eight boxes. You can pause them, stop them at any time you like, and it's the perfect answer to keep your fridge full, whether you're busy harvesting, lambing, carving, whichever. So check them out. The description is in the link below. So that's about all for this week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in a few weeks.